This Mobile Geeks video is powered by Asus. Hi, my name is Tyson from Synaptics and I'll be introducing our smart bar technology. So what we basically have here is we have um, a sensor, a touch sensor, basically located underneath the, uh, the spacebar keycap. Uh, it's basically taking part the touchpad gestures and putting it in the balance of the spacebar. So what I could do is, um, because it, your hands are naturally in this position, your, and your thumbs are naturally hovering over the space bar, if I, move my if I move my thumbs in and out, I could zoom in and out in maps or any type of gaming environment. In typing, when I swipe back, I could basically highlight what I just wrote, and I could just delete it without having to, to go back and hit this, the backspace over and over again. So typing, swipe, or swipe forward um, just by using my thumb. If I'm typing uh, in Chinese or in, in, uh, in Japanese, you will type in basically the phonetic sounding um, word and they'll give you an option of what it, what it thinks um, you're, the character you're trying to input. And instead of going to the mouse and selecting manually like this or going hitting the arrow button, uh, you could use your thumb to slide to the exact um, character that you want and then and just press on the space bar to actually input uh, the character. Uh, the other thing is, this is the UI. Um, so you could set the, the smart bar to different spaces. So right now it's set at three different spaces. I can set it at one, um, I can set it at five. And you can modify how big these areas are depending on what you want. And you could set macros. So right now, let's change this to... Oh, let's record this first. So B, one, two, three, four, five. Sorry. There it goes. So once I input to this, this area is set for that macro. So there it goes. So if I have one finger stationary and I move the other, uh, you'll see that it scrolls uh, vertically. Um, if I do the opposite, it should scroll horizontally. So um, it's not limited to these gestures. Um, you can set your own gestures in our UI if you would like, and then you can disable and enable them uh, in this part of the UI as well. So um, a lot of different options that allows the users um, to set in the, in the UI. And so um, is this a part that's coming to market soon, or is this just a Yes, so th there will be a partner of ours going to market with this in uh, Q4 of this year. Okay, perfect. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.